there's so many different artists that have played, so many different genres. I mean, Eminem did it, and uh, Katy Perry did it, and obviously all of these punk artists and things, but um, my completely unbiased opinion, I would have to say set it off. Uh, we're great, and you should check us out. I saw that coming. Yeah, their drummer is incredibly handsome, and his muscles are very big, so... I just couldn't think of one, so that's that's what I went with. <laughs> to be honest, I said it because I couldn't pick an actual artist. There were so many incredible bands that have played throughout the years. I mean, legends. People that are, if, they're, if they aren't already in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, are going to be. My joke answer would be that uh, we're the best band to ever uh, to play instruments. And we are we revolutionize music. So there's a couple artists every year that the you can tell that the side stage is just packed with people because they're so much fun that bands will literally go out of their way to make sure that they watch their set. Um, and Wallpaper was one of those bands. It was just a nonstop party the whole time for the 30, 45 minutes they were on stage. That was a blast. They actually played the prom. Um, of that Warped Tour. So. They built like this super group, I think. Do you guys remember who was in that super group at prom? I don't. It was... He did build a wizard. It got like, it was like 15, 15 beers deep. But it, I remember it was wallpaper and then um, it was uh, some of the members of Chiodos were in there and it was just basically this like mash group of all these artists uh, all playing together, just having a good time. I think someone jumped into a kiddie pool at one point, uh, and that kind of embodied that Warped Tour uh, vibe. I don't know, Sum 41 just did it again recently, in 2016 when we did it, uh, and I saw them a long time ago on Warped Tour, so it was cool to go back and, and see them a part of it again, so yeah, probably Sum 41 for me. It was my birthday, and I was like, yo, can I play a guitar solo? As a joke to Dave Brown sound, and he definitely said no, but it's fine. <laughs> I didn't think they would. It was a joke anyway, so I wasn't let down. I mean, I did cry, but it's fine. I'm going to have to go with My Chemical Romance's best artist to play Warp Tour. I was there in the crowd uh, that year, and I remember being very excited because I knew all the words. I was, I was ready to hear it, and I remember being in the front row. It was my first time making it to the front row. Um, and feeling confident, like I got this. And then I had no idea the power of their fan base when Thank You For The Venom would come on. Um, and it did, and I never thought I was going to die. I never thought I was so certain of death until that moment. And I, it's, it was a conjunction of absolute fear and absolute excitement just combined into once, but I had to get out. Like, I had to, like, I, that was, like, I think mid-set for them, so I was, like, I was good up until then. We're all being pushed around. No one has legs anymore. We're all just swaying, like, we're all just one sea of people. And then that came on, and it would actually felt like a riot. Like, I had to get out. So kudos to them for being able to do that to a crowd. Unbelievable. Uh, the energy was just unmatched. And even though that happened, I, I got out, I went into the, the front barrier area, I came back around, I got right back in, because you can't get enough of that. It's an amazing show. Well done. <laughs> Best artist I saw was The Offspring, and I can't remember if it was what, 2003 or 2004, but they were closing out that night, and they had came on stage with a fire hose and sprayed down the entire crowd, and uh, that was actually one of my first contests ever in, in being exposed to rock music. Um, actually. Cody, uh, him and I grew up together in high school, so I learned a lot about bands and what to listen to, what was cool through him and one of our other friends who grew up, grew up with, Ben Dayton. So um, it was, I'd never seen anything like that in my life. Like, it was just such a culture shock and I fell in love immediately. Seeing a tray on Warped Tour, uh, that band like holds a real real fun place in our hearts. Uh, we, we definitely, like, they are, they, we have some hype songs by them that like, that we get ready for shows. Uh, Cody and I's first band when we were kids, we would play a lot of Atreyu covers and stuff like that. So it was wild to be on the same summer there. I think. I forgot what show it was, but we were, our merch was set up on a hill right next to their stage. And I felt so bad because we were in the middle of a signing, but Atreya was playing and we were just so in, in like engulfed and captured and in their set that I was like, we're like trying to talk to kids like, hey, you know, have fun. And just like staring at the stage. It was so much fun. Oh man, I'm going to miss one. R.I.P.